Hi, I'm Chris from Lightspeed Voice, and today we're going to review the Grand Stream Wave Lite application when connected with Lightspeed Voice. A team member from Lightspeed can help get you connected if you aren't already. Reach out by writing to help at lightspeedvoice.com. Let's first go over placing a call, which will look very similar to making a call on your desk phone. Along the bottom, select the keypad. Input the number or extension you'd like to call, and then press dial. Now that we're in a call, we can go over transfer, start a conference, and mute. Along the bottom is a speakerphone, hold, and keypad. To start a warm transfer, press the transfer button. Enter the number or extension you'd like to transfer to, and then press attended. Once your call to the new party is answered, you'll be able to speak with them and then either select transfer or split. Transfer will complete the transfer, and split will drop the new caller off if they're unable to take the call, resuming your call with the original party. To complete a blind transfer, simply start with the same process of pressing transfer. Enter the number or extension and then press blind, which will send the call directly to them. Mute will disable your voice from being heard on the call. You'll still be able to hear them, but they can't hear you. Speaker turns your speaker on and can be turned off by pressing it again. Hold places the other party on hold where they'll hear hold music and you won't hear them. The keypad allows you to continue dialing, which is primarily used if you're in a phone tree needing to make entries. If you can't see these options after going to the keypad, just press more along the bottom. Since there isn't a button built into Grandstream Wave for it, in order to park calls, you'll need to use the star code star 27. This will send the call you're on to the first available parking spot. If you're logged into your switchboard, you'll see it there and know which spot it's in. But when you send the call to park, it will also audibly tell you which spot it's going to. When you or someone else within the office are ready to answer that call, they'll just need to dial the parking spot number, for example, 9001. In order to check your voicemail, you'll dial star 98. You'll then be prompted to enter mailbox. Your personal voicemail box is your extension number, or if you're trying to check the general voicemail box, it's 199. It will then ask for the password. If the mailbox has not been set up yet, the password is the extension number. You'll then go through a short setup process, recording the busy and away messages, and changing the password. Be sure to change the password to something other than the default, which is the extension number. If you keep it as the default, you'll have to do the setup again the next time you check your voicemail. This has been using the Grandstream Wave Lite application, and thank you for choosing Lightspeed Voice.